All right, let's take a look at question three. On question three, we're going to be assessed on how to ge generate solids from rotating two-dimensional shapes, okay? Question three reads, if a rectangle is continuously rotated around one of its sides, what is the three-dimensional figure formed? Alrighty, so we have rectangle prism, we have um, sphere, cylinder, and cone. Alright, so the first one, rectangular prism, it's impossible to get a, um, to get a rectangular prism from rotating a rectangle because a rectangular prism does not have a circular outline. Okay, so the answer cannot be option number one, a rectangular prism because it does not have a, um, circular outline. So what does a rectangular prism look like? It's just like a, a rectangle that's stretched. So you have something like this. Bam. It's not perfectly drawn down, but something like this. Alright, so there goes there go this is a rectangular prism. Rectangular prism. It's just like a box. Okay? Like if you go shopping on Amazon and they ship you your product in the box, in most cases the box you get is a rectangle prism. Alright, so this is not a, you can never get this as a result because it does not um, have a circular outline. Alright, so option one is not the answer, rectangular prism um, cannot be the resulting solid. Why? It cannot be the resulting solid because it has it does not have a circular outline. Okay, it does not have a circular outline. Why are we talking about um circular outlines? Because we're talking about rotation. If you rotate any shape to create a solid, it's going to have a circular outline of some sort. Okay, so these have uh, has absolutely no circular outlines. It's all straight. So that tells us that it's automatically eliminated. Okay, but if we think about a cylinder, a sphere, and a cone. These three other options have circular outlines. Okay, so we want to carefully consider them because you can actually create all these three um, solids by rotating two-dimensional shapes. So the question is, which one? is a result of rotating a rectangle continuously around one of its sides. Okay, so we're going to be making use of an applet, um, GeoGebra online applet, to give you a visualization of what the end result is going to look like when we rotate um, certain two-dimensional shapes. We are going to start with a rectangle, okay? So we have a rectangle here, and what we're going to do is we're going to rotate this rectangle about um, one of its sides, okay? Alright, so you can change the view of this rectangle just by moving this point all over the place, just to rotate and move it around. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and rotate this rectangle. If you rotate this rectangle about a side, do you see what shape is going to happen? Check this out. Let's rotate, 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 rotate. Bam! Ladies and gentlemen, what is that? That is a cylinder. Okay, so when you take a rectangle and rotate it about one of its sides, the resulting figure is a cylinder. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the answer to the question. Okay, how about sphere and cones? Do you know what two-dimensional shape results in your generation upon rotation? Let's take a look at it. Um, let's take a look at um, this figure, for instance. We have a right triangle, okay? Now, what do we get when we rotate a right triangle about one of its legs? Do you see what sh three-dimensional shape result? Well, let's do it. So when we rotate, 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 bam. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a cone, okay? So the result of rotating a right triangle about one of its legs is a cone. All right, now how about uh, a sphere? Can you think about that for a second? Well, we've done rectangle, we've done right triangle. Let's look at circle. All right, so we have a circle here. Now, what 
shape do we get if we rotate this circle about its diameter? Okay, so we have a diameter there. If we rotate this circle about its diameter, check this out. Rotating about its diameter, bam, ladies and gentlemen, we have a sphere. Okay, so when we rotate a, uh, a circle about its diameter, what you will get is a sphere. Alrighty. So that basically shows us how to generate um, the three options that we have. And the correct answer is going to be a cylinder, alrighty? Okay, so I captured the three figures that we generated using the GeoGebra um, online software to generate. So let's go ahead and write down your names. This guy right here is a cone. This is a cylinder. And this is a sphere. Okay? So, what did we get the, the cone from? We got the cone from a right triangle, yes? And then we got the cylinder from a rectangle. And then we got the sphere from where? We got the sphere from a circle, okay? So the question asks, which one do we get when we rotate a rectangle continuously around one of its sides? The answer to question number three is option two, a cylinder. All right. Presentation, really appreciate it. We'd like to know what you think. Um, if you found the contents of this presentation helpful to your preparation for the upcoming Regents exam, do give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is extremely important to us. If you have any questions or comments, just post it in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to respond. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel so you can get updates to um, the remainder of this review series and other great math tutorials to help you do well in your math courses. And for more support resources, do visit our website at mathgotserve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.